Hey YouTubers, well, viewers, it's Brett here again. I'm getting ready to start working on the 72 Nova. Uh, I want to get it back on all four tires, and as you can see, well maybe you can't see, there's no firewall in it. So the firewall in these cars is part of what bolts the subframe to it. So I have to do some work with the subframe, get that welded in, and then should be able to put it together. And then uh, if all goes well, if I have enough time this weekend, I'll make sure I record it. I'm gonna throw the whole whole nose on it. I've been ordering parts like crazy. I've got uh, well, only sheet metal for the front. I'm taking the hood off of the orange 71, which is out of camera right now, sitting over there. And yeah, I got brand new hood hinges. I get a bunch of brand new stuff. But anyway, stay tuned. You can see it. Buddy. Uh, I'm calling it a wrap for tonight. I uh, got that fitted to where I I wanted it. I had to, I didn't record a lot because uh, I was trying to get this thing, you know, figured out where it needed to go. Because the firewall is cut out already when I had bought the car, so I didn't have anything to go off of. But I have the 71 sitting right there. So I measured from here, like right next to where the bolt head would be. Measure from here, straight up to here 19 and a half inches on both sides so I, I matched it on this car but it's starting to get cold it's supposed to get down below zero tonight I believe so at least I got the the height set and I believe the side to side he can be off a little bit because those cage nuts will move around for you but uh I'll either continue this video tomorrow or it's going to be next weekend because I work nights so I'll be taking off tomorrow night but yeah there's a progress i didn't really do much video on let me see if i can zoom in oh yeah i didn't really do much video on this but i actually uh have different plans for that car so i'll let you guys in on that at some point but yeah at least i got this you know fit but i have to uh let's get up underneath it here and i gotta rebuild the i don't know if it'll catch it I gotta rebuild the front of the rocket panels. I got metal to do it, so if I get in the shop tomorrow, it's gonna be the first thing, and then I'll get it. Uh, I'll get the firewall completely burnt in, and then the subframe. It's got some rot down there, and then the body, the actual body mounts are rotted. But I bought a repair kit for this. It comes with the whole plate, so I'll line it up with this hole and then make sure it's straight for both sides. It actually comes with plate to repair up here which it's got some pitting but it ain't bad I don't believe the back ones are are they rotted I'm gonna find out I don't, I've never really seen, seen these rotted before back here I come out of there uh, nope well you know if they're rotted I got the piece of the so anyway so all right, hang tight. Well, it's the next day. It's cold as can be outside, so I took the tractor and moved it in the shop. Don't mind the mess. Uh, this is how it always is. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll get the... I was doing some looking this morning. It's not actually going to be as hard to repair these pieces as I thought. I figured it was a lot worse, but... Oh, yeah. There you go. Now you can see it. So I've got some 18-gauge steel, which I think is right i don't know well uh i'm gonna get the kerosene heater going then we'll get to her so i can get those parts fixed and then i can get the firewall burnt into it permanently then uh start working on the subframe if i can get those rocker panel pieces done today and the firewall in i'll be happy because the subframe really isn't going to be that big of a deal so i'll update you once the garage is warm and then we'll get the rolling video Okay, got it in the garage. I got the heater going. It's actually coming up in here a little bit. 
I can't run this heat too long because it's kerosene and it'll end up giving me a headache. Uh, I believe the firewall is in the exact place that it needs to go. I jack, had the jack up on this piece to, to bring it in to where there's an angled piece that comes off the inner rocker panel and it butts up <coughs> excuse me, against the inside of the firewall. So I jacked it up to get that in there and everything seems to line up. So now what I'm going to do is pull the firewall back out and then I'm going to start working on the rocker panels. So here we go. I'm turning my music so this is going to be a time lapse. Alright guys, uh, made a couple pieces here as you saw. Uh, don't do what I did. Wear safety goggles. Uh, my eye doctor yells at me because uh, every, well actually three times in two years I had to go to him to get metal taken out of my eye. So I made a couple metal pieces as you can see. I'm going to start on the bottom here. Work that piece in. And I'll make a drop off here. And then I'll, I'll bring it out to where it's supposed to drop off right here and go across. And then I'll make the outside piece and then fix the little tab right here. And then that's all this side needs. The other side, I believe, is actually gonna be even easier, so that's good news. So, all right, back to time lapse, I can listen to my music.
All right, guys. Uh, this side's. Oh, I'm gonna consider it done. What in the f what in the world is going on with this camp? See, it keeps freezing. I don't know why. I think it's just it's a little memory. Um, I'll probably have to go inside and actually put some of this film on the computer. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's pretty much the same thing as this. Uh, this is not perfect. And I didn't plan it on being perfect like that welds getting left there this one I'll grind down just so everything fits right uh, When this car finally gets fully restored someday It's gonna get brand new inner and outer rocker panels and the inner rocker panel obviously comes to where you can see so Those will all get replaced the full floor get replaced trunk pan frame rails quarter panels the whole nine uh, I probably won't even do I'll probably patch the door skins for now instead of actually putting new door skins on it so, yeah, I'm not going to record the other side. I'm just going to get it done. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back when I'm uh, fitting the firewall. Okay. Well, the passenger side's done. Came out a little bit nice on the driver's side. Like I said, I'm not feathering down these welds. They're going to be covered anyway. But both sides are done. I have to go. And my camera froze again. I don't know why it's doing that. Well, maybe it won't freeze the video. Oh, they're trolling again. Uh, I have to go to supper and then... When I get back from supper, I'm going to uh, throw the firewall in and get that ready to burn in. I gotta put some some holes over here for spot welds, and then down here it doesn't matter if I do it from this or from the firewall. But then I'll I'll burn it all in tonight, and then I don't have to work till tomorrow night. So maybe I will bring the subframe in here tomorrow, early tomorrow morning and fix the, uh, the body mounts on it and the, along, along the side of the, oh, it froze again. Awesome. Along the sides of the frame rails, uh, at the bottom, at least on the passenger side, it needs to have a, I don't know, about a two foot section to replace probably two, three inches tall, but that's all right. So I got the metal. So. I'll update you guys a little bit. When I get back from supper, I'm going to upload this video to my computer. That way I can delete it off of my phone and have more, uh, I can record more. So, see you in a bit. All right, I got back from supper. Um, I forgot to start recording this, but I haven't burnt it in yet, so you're lucky, I suppose. Uh, so you can see, I got, well, you might not be able to see, I don't know how clear this is I got my some of my textures in there I'm gonna put more I'm gonna put one probably next directly next to each plug well that way it sucks it closer like closer to the car then uh, I got them down through here too because this triangle shape welds to the, the structure as well and then do the same on the other side so right now what I'm doing is just getting everything lined up so that way I can drop the jack back out and then I'll have to jack up on the other side and Get everything to line up this side is actually lined up very good i'm pretty happy with it so hopefully the other side goes as smooth but i'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and get to work so i can turn my tunes back on
Well, next morning, I don't know if I got a video of this part, but she burnt in. Finished her up last night. We got in the house about 11 o'clock. So, today, uh, I'm going to fix that. And then, down along the side of the rail, you can see the rot down there. So, I have some 8th inch plate steel I'm going to splice in and weld in. And where it's a side shot too. Oddly enough, the back mounts are fine. These ones are shot. The radiator, all oh, core support mounts are good. Uh, I don't know about up here. Oh, she's awful pitted, but that'll I still clean up with a wire wheel. So, I got this kit from GM Classics. It comes with repair plates. There's the part number. It has them so you can repair it. It comes with all the spots so you can repair the back, those, and then the front, obviously. So, uh, that's the goal for today. Because once those are solid, I'm going to bolt this back to the car. Because then I can roll it around instead of uh, having to use a tractor. Well, I'll still use a tractor. But I don't want to pick it up. So, probably throw the, uh, the fenders on it today. I'd throw the hood on, but the 71, it's still in a 71. And my motor's in there without a cover on it. Hopefully there's, I don't think there's any push rods in it. So the valve should all be closed. And then... Actually, I have a set of push rods up to Joe's house. But yeah, I got to leave the hood on that for now because I don't want to put, see that fiberglass hood over there? I don't want to put that on it and then let the snow sit on top of it and wreck the hood. You know, so it is what it is. But I'm, I just got that thing fired up. I'm going to let it warm up in here for probably a good half hour or so before I come out and actually work. So, yeah. Oh, another quick thing. I need to invest in a GoPro. I'm using my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra to record this. It only gives you about an hour's worth of uh, recording time. So I have to keep going in and putting it on my computer, which takes forever. So I gotta get a GoPro. If you guys have any recommendations on which one to buy and use, and maybe sound equipment or like a microphone for your shirt or, or something, I don't know. Anyway, if you have any suggestions, put it below in the comments. Not quite sure where I left this video off, but I got the car back out of the shop. It's on, as you can see, it's on all four wheels again. Got the firewall in it. Uh, I have a brand new fender for the driver's side. I wanted to throw the whole nose on it, but I had a problem with the brand new uh, driver's side fender. But I talked to the supplier, and they are sending me another one free of charge. So... Um, that's that. After that gets here, as long as it fits, I put I put this factory one on there just to make sure it wasn't a problem with the car. But I knew it wasn't going to be anyway, and it popped right in the place. So get the other aftermarket one. Hopefully it fits right. But uh, but yeah, just wanted to end this video out. I got nothing to do today, so I might as well edit this video and put it up. Uh, next is going to be I don't know if I'll get to it this weekend. But I would need to get in the car and do the floorboards. And then I need to order a few more parts for the back end. I need wheel tubs. I need the upper and lower tail panel pieces. And then I can start working on the back end. Because once that's done, then there's just a little bit of... Ooh, that's actually a bullet hole. And that's clearly a, a rot hole down there. And then obviously there's some... You can see there, there's some rust, but get the back end of this car solid again and then I'll uh, you know be able to start getting it running but I just want to give you guys an update to finish out this little video but uh, I'll see you next time and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and stay warm <laughs>